Get your special horoscope for the year ahead 2020 at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of January 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And for you, there's a couple of big things happening in the sky, but the way that they're speaking to you is big as well. On the one hand, we do have the divine meeting of Saturn and Pluto. Now, this is something that we as astrologers have been talking about for years. We've been saying, this is coming, this is coming. Now, here we are. The exact connection takes place right around the 12th of this month. The sun and Mercury are there as well, adding energy and heat and clarity and mind and conversation into the mix. For you, this configuration is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with what it is you really want in your heart of hearts, where it is that you are honoring what it is that you're passionate about, living it more fully. This part of the sky is connected to gambling and taking risks. Also, children you have or children that you want and creative endeavors as well are covered here. But part of what makes this interesting in the context of this month is that we've also got a lunar eclipse under the same sky. Right around the 10th, we will have a powerful lunar eclipse taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships, has to do with groups you belong to, group endeavors of all kinds, including professional groups are covered here. Where it is that you're getting together with other people, whether it's shared fun or shared purpose, that's where we find this energy becomes that much more relevant. So it is this conglomerate of planets, right? The stellium that is standing across the sky from the eclipse. It is uh, fueling and informing how it is that the eclipse is being experienced and by you in particular. So here's the thing with this friendship oriented lunar eclipse chances are you'll be seeing the people in your life differently you'll be seeing your friends differently than you have before you'll be understanding your alliances and your groups differently as well but it is possible with this uh, and especially with this configuration the conglomerate i'm calling it um, that someone tries to act like the boss of you and that can feel uncomfortable Someone that you see uh, and you think of as a fun person, as someone that you enjoy your life with or have enjoyed in the past, uh, and someone that you feel as if you're able to um, tap into that connection on a level of friendship. Well, it is in that space where it can feel like things start getting a little complicated. Now for some, this can relate to what is happening with uh, someone on a romantic level. So that's something to take into consideration where it is that perhaps a friend has more feelings or you have more feelings and how that ends up complicating things and making things messy. That isn't going to be the case for most Virgos out there, but there may be some Virgos where some of that element uh, falls into consideration with this. For all that though, this is a chance for you to consider and to contemplate who your people are, whom is worth aligning with, whom isn't, and where it is that you have genuine friendships now that are meaningful, that are purposeful, and that are part of helping you to align with a more authentic and happier version of yourself than you did before. I do also want to say with this, okay, it needs to be said, with this energy, sometimes a friend might freak out on you. And what I mean by that is, you know how sometimes if a friend asks as a boss of you, that's not good. Sometimes a friend, they have such a strong moral opinion on what it is that you do, and that can be uncomfortable as well. These are the types of situations that can show up, but whatever it is that shows up, it is ultimately about you connecting to something more true, something more honest, something more real. And from that space moving forward, from that clarity of understanding, knowing who this person really is, but also whom it is that you are. And in that way, whatever does transpire can be seen as a great gift and how it is that the experience ends up being tremendously stabilizing and grounding in unexpected but important ways going forward from here. Now that doesn't mean that you may necessarily continue your friendship with this person. You might, 
but it does mean that the understanding you have is paramount in your moving forward towards greater opportunity than you knew before. Now, as we navigate later into the month, that is when we are going to have a new moon that happens right around the 24th. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. So this is uh, your daily habits and rituals, your workplace, the people who surround you there, the type of work you're doing. It has to do with your health related habits. So those things that you repeatedly do and your state of well-being as a result of that. So this new moon represents a fresh start, a new beginning. And I do think one of the most likely uh, scenarios here is that you may get a new insight into a habit uh, that you have and you go cold turkey. That's one way this energy of this new moon could be realized in your life. But the other is that it could be at this time that a coworker or a client or a customer behaves in erratic ways, in ways that you had not expected. Um, now that can make for interesting stories. We do have um, Chiron speaking in harmony with this new moon. And so Chiron is moving through a part of the sky that has to do with uh, your access to funds and larger funds. So it could be that there's a financial matter as part of this that is uh, complicating things somewhat um, that has to work well with what otherwise could be a person who's behaving kind of erratically uh, but for all that uh, this is going to be a time that is positively busy for you at the very least there may very well be an abundance of hours an abundance of work an abundance of clients at this time but also with this you may attract a new co-worker a new client who uh, demonstrates some of these more eccentric qualities. Uh, now, how it is that it sits with you, it really could go either way. Uh, for some, it may be a little bit uncomfortable, this person. For others, it could be that you are just largely amused by their uh, eccentricities. With this part of the sky also connected to your habits, it could be that you change a habit like that just very quickly, you realize whether it is where it is you're ready to change or whether it is on a more personal level, the habits that you have that are not fueling a healthy uh, sense of well-being, Uranus can be truth. It can be insight that garners truth. And it looks like that truth is coming for you quickly. And as you glimpse the truth, your energy is changed in the process and true healing energy can rush in thanks to Chiron. Where it comes to matters of love, in the second half of the month, Venus is going to enter your opposite sign. This tends to be a really nice time for love as it starts right around the 13th and in the weeks ahead. This tends to last about four weeks. So we'll be taking this energy into next month as well. But what happens is the people that you connect with, the people you're already connected with, well, it tends to feel as if they're that much sweeter in your life. If you're open to meeting someone new, well, it is this placement that indicates you could attract someone with real long-term potential into your life now and in the weeks ahead. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, well, this is where you start to feel as if you are moving towards partnership, something more established with this person. And if you are in an established bond, it really can feel as if your partner is sweet, is easy, uh, is generous as well. So this really can be a beautiful placement for feeling loved right where you are with the love that you have. What I love about this month for you, well, I am going to say the lunar eclipse. I think that is energy that a lot of people are gonna be feeling, especially you, even though it is Pluto and Saturn meeting that is getting all the glamour, all the glitz, all the attention, and perhaps rightfully so. This is a rare configuration. The last time this happened was about 500 years ago when Saturn and Pluto met in this part of the sky. I think it'll end up helping you in your understanding of what you really want in your heart of hearts, what it means for you to live true to your passions in every area of life. But it is other people and the friendships that are going to help get you there. It is your alliances now that are going through a metamorphosis, that are going through changes and ultimately moving in a direction of being more honest and being more real. And what is real will absolutely be there for you and stay for a long time to come. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the 2020 special horoscope preview for your sign coming right up. And you can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month, enjoy. Hello fabulous superstar Virgo, welcome to your horoscope for the year of 2020. This is your special horoscope for the year ahead. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. What an amazing year it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is a year like this that has truly big and rare events happening after the other, after the other. Now if one of these events were taking place, like if you saw the Jupiter special horoscope, you know. There's big things happening with Jupiter this year. I won't repeat them because that provides another layer to this year. Um, that alone would be a really big deal. But then you bring in all these other factors that I'm going to touch on. Of course, there'll be special horoscopes, weekly horoscopes, monthly horoscopes as we go along. Uh, and I'll be here to talk about them every step of the way. But let's start with what is happening with Saturn because it is going to be Saturn that will in the spring and over the course of the spring kind of dip out of fellow earth sign Capricorn